I'm from Venezuela. I was born in Venezuela and I was actually raised in the U.S. Um, to be specific, in Utah, Salt Lake City, Utah. And about seven years ago, I moved to Houston, um, live in Katy, but uh, Houston's like has been the best experience. Um, it's beautiful here. I love the diversity here. And it's honestly moving here is what made me um, pursue my music career even further than I already was. So um, I've been singing since I was nine years old, been doing this for, for a minute. You know what I mean? It doesn't even feel like work sometimes because it's just it's my passion. So I'm really grateful to be able to do things like this, um, you know, so, yeah, uh, just been singing my whole life. And I'm a wedding singer now. So I've been in the I've been doing wedding bands for like uh, four years now. Um, I actually sing with the dry water band from Houston, which is super cool. Um, and yeah, uh, now we're on American Idol, you know, so we'll see what happens. Um, what, so you moved to Katy, you said about, so that would be about seven years ago. So did you yeah. go to school out there for any period at all? I asked because I also yeah. grew up in Katy. So I was curious what schools you went to. No, yeah, um, of course. No, when I moved to Katy, it was actually my senior year, which kind of sucked because like I had to start a new you know, go to a new state, start in a new school with like new people that I didn't know. But, it, you know, it all worked out and I made some friends. Um, I actually went to Cypress High School, Cypress Lakes High School for one year. And then uh, I did like a year or two at, at Lone Star College, Community College. And then, you know, I stopped going to college and just pursued music 100 percent. So, yeah. What brought you here to Texas? Did you just move here with your family? Or? Yeah, so I was 17 when we made the move and it was just for, you know, my parents finding better jobs out here and housing is great out here, you know, so just like a better lives, I guess, you know, always, 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 that's always been the motive just to have, you know, better stable lives. How has your family responded to your singing career? Have they always been excited about you pursuing this? Yeah, thank, thank God uh, I've always had the most supportive family, the most supportive mom. Um, I was actually raised by my sing uh, my mom was a single mom for quite a few, like majority of my like upbringing. So um, yeah, I have so much respect for my mom. She's always supported me. I, I remember telling her that I wanted to be like a famous singer when I was nine years old. And ever since then, every everything she's done uh to help me has been towards that so you know i owe it all to her and to my family for the support you know i'm very blessed very very blessed um i know that it's kind of in the middle of taping if you will but have you been able yeah. to talk to her or tell them anything that you can share in terms of how they responded to knowing that you were on this like on american idol yeah oh yeah of course um yeah like uh, my mom has known since there's there's a cute little story like I drew a picture of uh, of myself on an American Idol stage when I was nine years old. And that's what that's when I told my mom that I wanted to be a singer. So like the fact that, you know, it's happening now is like it's super huge, um, especially for my family, because they've you know, they've had to deal with me singing all around the house, like telling me to shut up all the time. Like they know they know that it's my dream. So, you know, them seeing it all happening is 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 really big and it, and it and that energy you know rubs off on me too so it's just you know we're all very excited so it's come full circle i guess it's so full circle completely full circle yeah so i katie actually mentioned that i think in my audition when i told them about the drawing that i did mm -hmm. she mentioned that it's full circle so yeah <laughs> what are the judges like what it's like was it what is it like performing in front of them Oh my gosh. It's honestly, it's, there's no words to really describe the feeling because it's so much adrenaline and it's the most amazing feeling, but I don't know, seeing them, like seeing these, these people, these artists that have been doing this their whole lives, it's like super admirable. And like being able to perform in front of them is literally a dream come true. Cause it's like, you would never think that people from that level of, you know, musicians would you know, you'd be able to share your talent, you know, to them. So for me, it's just, I'm super grateful. And um, I love, I love Katie. I love Luke. I love Lionel. Lionel is like literally the most beautiful, like he has the most beautiful smile. Katie is just so funny. So herself and Luke is the silly, he's silly. And just like 
the their their combination together is it makes it so so good it's like so nice to be a part of it so i'm really looking forward to what what's coming next from them um so you said you've been singing since you were nine um so is that kind of how you knew you wanted to be a singer were you always adamant about doing that or were you ever like oh, i don't know if this is the path i want to take that's a good question um i've been I've always known that it's something that I wanted to do and it's, I've always pursued it, you know, not even knowing that, you know, it was, it was what I was going to end up doing in my life. But, um, I just, I never quit, you know what I mean? And, and with the support of my family, like they've always pushed me because they've, they, they've seen that it's something that I love to do and I'm actually good at. So why not? You know what I mean? Why not give it all you got? You know, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So that's just the that's just the way I live life is just like doing what I love no matter what, you know, unapologetically. So um, but there has been times where where like you, you don't feel like it's like you're enough or like you'll fit in the industry or like, you know, all the no's that you get throughout your life and it brings you down. But what keeps you there is the love you have for when you actually are doing it. And that's just what pushed me the whole time. So here I am. Woo! American Idol, baby. <laughs> um, I want to talk about your super cool YouTube page. We were talking a little bit yeah. about this before we started recording. Um, so you play the ukulele. So first, yeah. how in the world did you learn how to do that? <laughs> so the instruments that I play, um, I've all self-taught. I've ne I never had lessons growing up. I only had lessons like vocal lessons, but the first instrument that I ever picked up was the ukulele. And it's because my sister for one of like one of my birthday presents, she gifted me a ukulele and I was like, what the heck am I going to do with this thing? And so I just started, I got on YouTube and I started looking up videos, you know, of like ukulele tutorials this is and I just kind of started learning myself and I picked it up and I really enjoyed it so my YouTube channel is basically that <laughs> like I do ukulele covers I started doing my ukulele covers and then I started making ukulele tutorials just so I could like you know share what I've learned off of YouTube and just give it back you know what I mean that's kind of the point of it so I'm still doing that now and I feel like it's really fun. It, it gives it gives my YouTube channel like a, a certain vibe. Like when you go there, it's just like that's what you get. You know, that's the content you get. And I and I'm totally okay with that because I love playing. I love playing the ukulele. <laughs> I could definitely tell that. Like it looks like a very like joyous thing for you. Yeah, you know, it's happiness, so fun. easy vibe. So I could definitely see that. Um, what is one of your? I guess what's your favorite cover? Favorite song when you're playing? Oh my god. So I have, I have so many, um, I have so many favorite covers, but I'd say my favorite now is probably Circles by Post Malone. I just like the vibe. It was, I did it in, in one of my favorite rooms because I've moved around a lot. So like my scenery changes all the time. So I just like that room that I did it in and I love that song. And um, yeah, that's, that's probably my favorite right now, but they change. They always change. Like then it'll be blinding lights by the weekend. Cause I did it when my hair was pink, you know, I had the bangs, it was quarantine, you know, whatever. It, was, it changes. It always changes around. Um, so you mentioned, so you play other instruments, you said? Yes. So I self taught myself how to play the guitar, a little bit of piano, ukulele and then when I was young I really loved like percussion and drums so I in high school like I did percussion um so uh yeah that's basically what I know now and I and I really want to learn how to play the bass too so <laughs> I'm you know want to be well-rounded absolutely um we mentioned it briefly but your hair was pink before and now you've got like yes. this really cool look going on um so do you like to change it up a lot what's your style what made you want to have the pink hair and then change it up yes i love changing um i'm like constantly changing like it was to a point where like from middle school i cut my hair short and then ever since then i had long brown hair for the longest and i just got bored of it and like Honestly, being in the music industry and like pursuing this as my career, I feel like it's it, you're able to be very free with how you look and what you wear and what, how you dress. Like you're very you're able to express yourself in any way. So I decided to freaking dye my hair all the way pink and then it turned blonde and then I cut it and then now we're here. So just expect a lot of changes for me. <laughs> 
Um, so I also saw you're a bilingual singer songwriter. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I am Venezuelan, so that's where my family's from, and that's where um, you know my my parents are from, and my mom uh, made it. She made it so we did not forget our English or our Spanish. Like she made it to always speak Spanish in the house. Like growing up, even though we grew up in America, you know, she always wanted us to keep you know maintain like where you're. Yeah, you know, like always remember where you're from, and and then you know, like keep your roots and stuff. So never lost that side so i'm i i write in i write in spanish i write in english and you know it's really fun because like i'm a lot more comfortable to sing in english like it's more comfortable because it's like my first language but when i sing in spanish there's something about it too it's just like it it, it takes me it takes me somewhere else because it's like it comes from deep in my soul like where i'm from so it, it feels more at home you know when i sing in spanish too so it's really fun. I love being able, I feel very blessed to be able to do both. Um, so we talked a lot about your covers, but also I saw you have some original music. Yes, I do have original music. I actually started making music when I was, um, when I first moved to Houston, I started making music. I met some friends and uh, that's when I started really writing and getting into my own like you know, just like figuring myself out as an artist and figuring out what my sound is more. And so, yeah, I've put out some some EPs and some singles. Uh, you could listen to that anywhere on any platform. And yeah, it's it's I feel like I'm constantly growing as an artist and finding out my sound. Like even being on American Idol has really helped me, you know, grow as an artist and, and really figure out what it is that I want to put out, you know, for for the rest of my life. You know, what kind of music I want to make. So I'm still learning every day, but it's it's fun. It's really fun. Well, since I am talking to you in the middle or at the start of, I guess, Women's History Month, um, who are some of the women who have inspired you? Oh my gosh, so many, so many. Um, let's let's just like name a few. Well, like right now in the industry, like SZA, Kehlani, um, Cardi B, like these women, like they're so passionate and so. Sure just just so motivated you know to just get it done and, and and to put this art out and be so creative so it's very inspiring to to see that especially in the music industry now and um uh, it continues it continues the the youthful vibe which is what i love i love i love feeling like a kid i love that inspiration that that we get from these women in the industry so i love to see it um, what advice do you have? I know, you know, you're obviously still going along in your career, but, um, it sounds like you never gave up. You kept pushing on and going on to different things. So what advice do you have maybe for other people who also want to pursue this? Um, my advice to you is just to never stop, never stop. If it's something that you truly love and something that you truly have passion for and that it makes you happy don't ever stop because that's what's gonna keep pushing you to keep going because you never know what tomorrow brings so why not give it your all now so that's just my advice for you keep your head up all the no's that you get are just part of the journey you know you can't you can't have any success without failure so mm -hmm. keep going keep pushing um so I'm curious because you have a sign or something next to you something about don't be what is it that's oh on yeah the wall? So let me read it for you. It says, it's you against you every day. Make sure the right you wins. Don't fear failure. Fear being in the exact same place next year as you are today. Oh, that's cool. Did you write that? Um, no, that's actually just something that was already there. But I I vibe with it 100%. <laughs> like, it's literally, you know, it's, it's, it's something to live by for sure. It's something, I felt like it was something that kind of reminded me of you and your vibe and your attitude just from talking to you right now. So that's why I was like, I wonder yeah. where that came oh, from. I that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually, so I'm actually at a hair salon. I literally got my hair done. But this place, no, I'm not even going to lie. Like, this place has the best vibes and it's very positive and it's very uplifting. So the fact that this is here and we're here, it's a sign. It's a sign. Absolutely. Literally, it's a sign. <laughs> it is. 
Um, had you been familiar with American Idol? Well, obviously you do this stage, but is this your first time auditioning? Had you auditioned before? Because I saw you did, um, you auditioned for a different show. La Banda, I think it's called. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So I have been on different TV shows in the past. Um, La Banda was one of them. And this is my first time on American Idol ever auditioning or anything. <laughs> Um, I actually auditioned during like quarantine. Like I thought it was the coolest thing that we were able to audition, you know, through Zoom, like like how easy that is, like with the world, with everything going on in the world. And, and we have the, you know, technology so advanced now that you can just like audition for American Idol on Zoom. Like that's crazy. But I'm blessed and super grateful. And uh, yeah, like it's it's been awesome. Like I'm glad I, I was able to have the TV experience from past shows or from previous shows um, to help me like prepare for something like this, like American Idol, because it's huge. You so. mentioned quarantine and that was gonna be one of my next questions is what has it been like for you yeah. and your family through this pandemic? Oh man, it's, I mean, I feel like everyone has gone through their, uh, you know, has gone through their hard times during this time, but I feel like there's a lot more um, positives than there were negatives because you were able to just like be with yourself spend a lot of time with yourself and spend a lot of time on your own so i feel like that has allowed us to just grow as individuals and and to be more united with our families and friends and you know check up more on people you know and just be more present in the moment i feel like that's that's really what i took from quarantine um but you know thankfully we were able to stay safe and, and, you know, follow all the guidelines of, you know, what, you know, what it is to be safe with COVID and everything like that. Like it's, it's just all been so crazy, but the best thing we can do is just be mindful of others and be mindful of yourself and just stay safe. Wash your hands, man. Just wash your hands. Oh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, is there anything that you would like for our viewers to know about you? Um, for viewers to know about me, um, I just want everyone to know that uh, I'm a very, I'm a very open-minded person, a very optimistic person, and I believe that anything is possible and you can achieve anything if you set your mind to it and your heart to it. And yeah, I just wanna, I really just wanna share that with the world. I really just want the world to know me for who I am, you know, for for what I represent, you know, just. Just the, just the girl with the family, bilingual, you know, we're out here just always pushing for a greater future and a greater life. And I just want everybody to know that that's, that's, where, my, that's where my heart is. I love that. Thank you so much for talking with me. <laughs> I appreciate you so much, Brittany. Thank you so much for having me.